Look, it is Groundhog Day Eve. What can we say? Got a little footage here from 2016 when good old Phil did not see his shadow. Um, so remember now, the history of the Groundhog tradition is, you know, if Phil, this Groundhog comes out, he doesn't see his shadow. No shadow means an early spring. Most years, he sees his shadow. I can tell you that. And in fact, um, a few statistics for you, which are pretty interesting. And Puxitani Phil, he's, he's made, uh, he's calling on prediction 130, okay, uh, the tomorrow. Um, out of 129 so far, he's only called for an early spring 18 times. So if it always seems like he generally sees his shadow and predicts six more weeks of winter, that's because he does. Uh, he rarely goes early uh, spring. But interestingly enough, a little information from Gobbler's Notch up in Puxitani. Um, he did back in uh, actually 2016 last year. Uh, he officially called uh, said no shadow early spring. When I look back all the way to like 2000, the last 15, 16 years, um, no shadow in 2007, 2011, 2013. So like four times since 2000 has he called for the early spring. Is he accurate? Well, there's an interesting write-up from our friends at NOAA, okay? Some scientists have done the analysis. Sometimes he's got some decent accuracy, I will say, but the last few years, um, we did have an above-average spring last year, temperature-wise, and he called for an early spring, so he was somewhat accurate last year. Um, and in terms of uh, the, the before last year, pretty decent in 2015, 2014. Where he went wrong was 2012. He saw the, or I'm sorry, he called for, uh, he did see a, a shadow, and we had the above average spring, but there have been several years, many years in fact, where he's gotten it wrong, especially when you go before about 2010 or so. There's many times where he says prolonged winter didn't work out, or early spring, that didn't work out. So, wouldn't put too much weight in old Phil, uh, sad to say. Overall, uh, what do we see here in the Storm Center? Uh, other than Phil doing his thing tomorrow, we'll forecast that, and, and I doubt he's going to say early spring because I, I don't know if there's ever been uh, two years back-to-back. -back. Let me just take a look um, around hog history. Mm, yeah, uh, back to the late 1800s. I don't see any two years in a row scenarios with no shadow. So um, every other year seems to be the most frequent. So chances are if you just go by history, uh, Phil will likely uh, likely see his shadow tomorrow, and that means he will call for more winter. The devious forecaster that he is. Now, look, what do we see here in the Storm Center in terms of uh, the outlook? Well, we don't give you six weeks out. What we can tell you is, uh, let me just pull up our temp map uh, right here. So at this moment in time... We're in a bit of a battleground. Winter is out there. <clears throat> We've got teens and single digits from Duluth to Green Bay, up into Ottawa. And I do think some of this colder air shifts in to finish out our week. So at least over the next few days, uh, Phil, if he calls for more winter, will, will seem correct. Uh, longer term, a little tough to say with precision, uh, but, but we do anticipate a cool down uh, into the coming days. And um, our seven-day forecast, give you a peek at that, certainly bears that out through the, the, the weekend here, uh, dropping through the 30s for highs Friday and Saturday, and then bouncing into the 40s early next week. Now, last point of interest here, uh, let's pop up our kind of long-term jet stream look. So we'll pop this back up. Phil, sorry, we'll, we'll pop you off here for a second. And we'll just pop into our uh, our 250 millibar winds. And what we're looking for is, is a big dip in the east, colder air, uh, over the next two weeks or so. And we kind of see it here. This is a bit of a cold blast. This will be out toward February 9th. That is a cold air invasion for the east coast. Uh, doesn't look particularly long-lived, maybe milder by the 12th. And a um, bit of a cold air punch again, not as brutal, but, but pretty cold looking toward the 16th of February. 
Um, but there is a large ridge here in the west. This is very warm air, and, and if that slides east, that'll snap us out toward maybe the 18th, 19th of February. Uh, but again, the first major shot of cold air probably uh, looking at maybe toward Thursday of next week, toward February 9th. That's the way we see it right now. So again, overall, uh, Phil, he's been better in recent years at calling early winter, uh, I'm sorry, I should say an early in the winter or an early spring, but I, I, I will forecast, unless we're going to set precedent and have him not see his shadows two years in a row, Phil will probably see that shadow tomorrow, and that will mean, of course, uh, six more weeks of winter. But who knows? I always find it interesting, too. You know, all the camera lights of the world on Phil, um, it seems likely he would see his shadow every time. I mean, with all those TV lights, right? Like he comes out of his notch. And uh, a big party up there in Pennsylvania. I really want to go one of these years. Like the movie Groundhog Day. It looks like a major party. Phil, uh, hey, I hope he sets a precedent. I hope we see for the first time ever the call for two early springs back-to-back -back years. You can do it, Phil. Let's see if it happens at Gobbler's Knots tomorrow morning.